Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the Jira. In this session, I will explain you about how to create a roadmap in Jira or how to configure a roadmap. So whenever we are working with a sprint-wise planning, it is always required to add a roadmap with your project. So before moving to further, let's understand today's agenda. I will give you a detailed explanation about what is roadmap in Jira and how to add the roadmap and their detailed setup so that Whenever we are working with sprint wise or in the planning phase, it's always looks up clear idea or gives the clear idea to the third person who is looking first time. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with practical content. So once you log in, you have to select your project name. Once you select your project name, you are able to see this dashboard select the roadmap once you will select the roadmap you are able to see this screen so first of all what is roadmap whenever we are working with any specific project in that project we needs to define our roadmap what we are going to deliver in particular time frame which all functionality should be covered and how the walking will flows from one step to other so whenever we are adding a roadmap, it should be a detailed instructions. So uh, we are adding in terms of epics. So if you can see here, we have to create a roadmap. Like uh, we want to uh, understand the requirement document. Then uh, BRD preparation. We can see that this is the actual work with product owner itself. Then we have to make the design. So design I am adding here now the development development phases and push development phases definitely it will require in the testing phase as well so testing will link QA and UAT both the teams and at the end uh, sign off you can say that or production movement so production movement uh, is the final step we are expecting so here we have created each and every uh, roadmap in one month but definitely it won't be possible in this situation so we have to shift accordingly you can see here this is the start date and this is the end date i have already selected quarters you can select the month as well or in the weeks so it will be give you a clear idea about how you are working in month wise or uh, in the week or in the quarter so here you can drag it like this from mid uh, March or April then if you uh, understand this will be complete within this frame definitely you can go ahead with this then the testing phase is definitely come over so accordingly you can set up your uh, parameters so this will give you a clear idea how you can proceed further so if you want to add uh, your steps like a task so you can create the task so let's uh, create one task here this is product owner activity product owner or uh, inside the task you can provide the complete detail as well so uh, when you will select here it will pop up you can add your complete detail inside this or you can edit it accordingly if you want to delete any task you can simply delete it on selecting this one from this you can delete it same thing is possible for uh, creating your roadmap if you want to delete your roadmap you can simply select this one and delete your complete roadmap from here so it it will uh, exactly deleted if you want to export in word format or in the excel format that is also possible here you can do several other settings like uh, sharing with other person who is not involved in this project basically when you jump to backlog and you have created uh, this roadmap so and the task so task is basically listed here but when you will go with the sprint wise planning or in the to do list or it's not done state you have to need in the framework pattern 
so which will def- definitely uh, cover one more session on this trend so that you are able to understand this so this is how we are creating a road map inside any specific project which will help you to streamline our working cultures as well as when we want to uh, view with the to do list or in the progress or in done state we can watch it so that's how it's working flow if you want to change your structure uh, of any specific uh, uh, road map you can edit it at any point of time simply select that uh, road map and uh, edit it at the descriptions and all so description is uh, definitely uh, setting up the complete environments or uh, the detailed explanation of what we are going to deliver in this phase then if you want to add any include any attachments or create an issue in epic inside that you can do that but if you want to add any specific apps that is also possible so these are the working flow clone you can create a, a copy of uh, this road map in other project as well so this is how we are creating road map inside a jira hope you like it if you really enjoyed this season consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching